We're in California with Lexus and we're here to drive the new RX. There's a couple of models we're getting to drive, hybrids and gas. This video is all about the gas RX 350. Was that a little bit of turbo lag there, Andrew? I thought there was a tiny bit. Let's try it again. I, it might have been in the wrong gear. Why yeah, you? Okay, let's come try. to a full stop. Let's see what happens. So we've got the 350 again. in sport mode. Punch it. All right, go, go. A little bit. A little bit of turbo lag. A little bit. Now, one thing to keep in mind that these are pre-production vehicles, so the finished RX 350s might be different. The biggest change is the V6 is gone. We have a new power plant. What's under the hood of this thing? A 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder with an eight speed automatic transmission, 275 horsepower and 317 pound feet of torque, standard all wheel drive. It has 20 less horsepower than the outgoing V6, but more torque, almost 50 pound feet. You know what? When people get caught up on numbers, right? Mm -hmm. It's got less horsepower, it can't be any good, but you pay for horsepower, you use torque. So a brand new Lexus RX, what kind of goodies come standard. Let's get into the key standard features. The RX 350 has seven trims in Canada and six in the U.S., including F Sport trims. The base trim comes with a 9.8 inch touchscreen, wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a seven inch full digital cluster, new Lux seats, heated and ventilated front seats, a heated steering wheel, a moonroof, power folding exterior mirrors, auto limited slip differential, and Lexus safety system 3.0. A big difference between the NX and this RX is that this model runs on regular tires. No run flats for a smoother and quieter ride. So they've got this new digital gear selector. We've mm -hmm. seen that already in the NX. What are we going to put it in? You got to put it in S for subscribe. And if you can hit that notification bell, you'll be notified when all of our reviews drop and then you can watch them. And we do this, the couple car review twice a week. The first one drops on Wednesday. We put another one out on Saturday. So make sure you like and subscribe and most importantly, hit that notification bell. Also follow on Instagram. It's motormouth underscore Andrea to see what's going on behind the scenes on the channel. For me, it's motormouth underscore auto and the links are below the like button. This video is brought to you by Canada Drives. Shop online for your next used vehicle and enjoy the convenience of two-year door delivery and the confidence of a seven-day love it or return it guarantee. Visit canadadrives.ca to learn more. I really like how this handles. It feels like a Lexus. It has a refined drive. The cabin is really quiet. We've been on different pavement along the way and it never really gets super loud. One thing, a big change when it comes to the dynamics of the car. So the wheelbase has been stretched. That gets you more space. We'll show you that in just yeah. a moment. But also the wheelbase is a little bit longer, but the track, especially at the back, is a little bit wider. That gives the car a little bit better stance on the road, but also better better dynamics in the corners. And we've been driving on some bumpy roads here in California, and the car feels very well balanced between what we expect from Lexus to yeah. be traditional luxury, but still some good feedback. And I really like the way that the steering feels as well. It's not too heavy. It doesn't feel especially light. It's somewhere in between. It's the Goldilocks and, of the RX. Yeah, area. and I think that for a lot of people, this is going to appeal to them because it's easy to maneuver in and out of tight spots, especially in this city. They can't screw it up because this is their best-selling Lexus. Mm -hmm. This is the cornerstone of the brand. This is really what the brand was built around when they first introduced an SUV. So RX is the meat and they have put a lot of effort into this and it's all new. Every single item yeah. in this car is brand new. Now we're going over some really bumpy pavement right now, yet Yes, of course the cabin gets a little bit louder, yet it still keeps that refined feel. And on the highway, this thing is church quiet. Yeah. It's really, really good on the highway. But there are other options as well. So now they have a new hybrid and then they have a high performance version yeah. of this. And we're gonna do a totally separate video just on hybrid for RX and that amps things up even more. Now this is wider than the previous model by about an inch and it sits lower to the ground. It has a real balanced feel to the drive and the way that it handles. Now we love when you guys tell us what you think. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the grill of this Lexus RX? Lexus has 
embraced the monster grill, but this one's kind of a twist on what they've already done. Well, I think this is much more streamlined and modern. It is probably my favorite RX of any model out there. I actually don't mind this grill. I like how it's integrated into the front end. Um, and it just looks a little bit more streamlined. This comes with available triple beam LED headlights, standard 19 inch wheels available 21 inch. And then in the rear, there's an LED light bar that goes side to side of the vehicle, keeping it really nice and clean. And then of course the Lexus script that we're seeing on all the new Lexus models. It's a trend in the industry. Everybody's putting their name on the back. I think it looks pretty good. good. Yeah. yeah, and it's a it's a tidy looking vehicle. I think design wise, it's an evolution of what they've done, even though it's an all new product. Yeah. I think, uh, you know what? Uh, existing Lexus RX owners will be very happy with it and I think it might attract some new buyers as well. The F Sport trims get a unique look with a frameless grille, black accents, black roof rails, F Sport badging, exclusive F Sport bumper and 21 inch wheels. So when you get inside this RX, it looks like a, a larger version of the NX that we've seen already. Yeah. The dashboard, the instrument cluster, the gear selector, it's very similar to the NX, which is scalable and makes sense for them. And the biggest change is the elimination of the clumsy trackpad from the older models. It's now just a touchscreen. Yeah, it comes standard with a 9.8 inch touchscreen and a seven inch digital driver display. But overall, it has some really nice material to the inside, including an Alcantara leather. The base trim gets new lux. And then a well-organized center console. And of course, the infotainment system is easy enough to use. I like that Lexus has put tabs at the bottom of the screen so you can get into your climate. You've got your heated and ventilated seats as well as your heated steering wheel. So this has artificial intelligence. It's a connected car. Mm -hmm. And what it does is it learns your habits and your behavior and then you set up a profile either with your phone or your key and every time you get in it it kind of knows what you like yeah it says Andrea you like a heated seat on Andrea mm -hmm. you like a heated steering wheel on and it learns all those things and you can have quick settings for that it's quite clever and as we go along the yeah. car is going to know more and more about you and it's going to run your life <laughs> The base trim actually comes with a lot of standard features. Now, of course, we don't know the price point yet. When they do, we will get that to you. But if you want the larger touch screen, the 14 inch, then you've got to move up one from the base model. Panoramic sunroof is also on that trim. Heated and ventilated rear seats. Nice to get ventilated rear seats back there. And of course, the wireless charger. Available features on the higher trims include a head-up display, a panoramic view monitor, power rear door with kick sensor, and the 21-speaker Mark Levinson sound system. There are three F-Sport trims, and that base trim comes with a smaller 9.8-inch touchscreen, a head-up display, advanced touch F-Sport steering wheel, the 7-inch F-Sport digital cluster, and multi-color ambient lighting. So this is a higher spec of the gas model, but the materials in here really are first rate. They know how to put a car together. You've got Alcantara with the Mark Levinson sound system in the door here, beautiful soft touch materials, nice padding on the center console, armrest that opens both ways for the driver and for the passenger. It's really well put together. It's kind of what you expect, but it has to at this price point, Andrea, because we know what the traditional RX sold for, yep. and it competes with some pretty heavy hitters like the X5 and the GLE and the MDX and so on, and they have nice vehicle interiors as well. Let's go over that pricing of the current RX model. It starts at 57.5 in Canada, and in the US, it's just under $48,000. So we don't have the pricing yet they're gonna hold that back to the very last minute yeah. uh, just before these vehicles go on sale and um, you're looking at an industry where there is definitely inflation there's price adjustments from all brands hopefully Lexus keeps it under control but yeah. expect it to be slightly more than that and so you're getting more you're getting yeah. more now than you are getting with the current model so I don't understand why that price point wouldn't go up 
All right, let's get into space and size on the inside. The front legroom is really quite comfortable, but you get quite a bit more legroom and cargo space. As yeah. we mentioned, the overall footprint of the vehicle stays the same. The wheelbase is longer. That's a win-win for everyone. Yeah, the passenger space overall in here is just larger. And I think that it needs to be because this is kind of in a unique category, the RX doesn't quite fit with the X5 because it does have an optional three row vehicle. Yeah, they have vehicles like the MDX, which yeah. is a standard third row. There's not that many five passenger, two row, luxury vehicles left in the marketplace. Nope. One, is, and it's not even really a luxury brand, but it is a luxury price, is the Jeep Grand Cherokee is one. I would consider a competitor to this, but this, it's kind of a, a unique proposition. One yeah. of the reasons probably why it sells so well. Yeah, and the GV80 is another, That's another one. one. Yeah, that is priced you know, in that $80,000 category for the 3.3T. So it will be interesting to see what Lexus comes with price-wise on this. So we'll show you the cargo area quickly before we switch driving positions here. The cargo area is big. The nice thing is, this is great, underneath there is actually a spare tire. There's yeah. no tire repair kit. So that's excellent news for everybody that complains about that, including us. Compared to the previous RX model, this new model gets 29.6 cubic feet of space behind the second row. That's an extra 16 cubic feet more. Overall cargo capacity is up 13.5 cubic feet. And one thing I like about the storage area is that it sits a little bit higher, so I found it really easy to load and unload items. All right, nice to be driving. <laughs> Andrea, Lexus is in the sweet spot, Toyota mm -hmm. generally, because they have so many hybrid vehicles. Yeah. As gas prices hit record levels, a record number of people went and bought Lexus hybrids, right? I know. Lexus says their electric vehicle sales are up by more than 30% this year, and over 33% of overall Lexus sales are electrified. And the other thing is they expect this RX by the end of next year to be 40% hybrid. So we're driving the regular gas model. We will, yeah. as we mentioned, have a separate video uh, just on the new hybrid systems. But this is still a cornerstone of the brand. A lot mm -hmm. of people buy the base RX because uh, of price. That's a big one because they can get in to these. But, you know, some people just want to have the newest and the latest. And this has a new powertrain. So it is kind of keeping up with the competition. Yeah, and I really like how they also added in this RX model, what they put in the NX, the e-latch system. So if you are opening up your door when you are stopped, the vehicle will detect if there's a pedestrian or a bicycle coming your way and a car, of course, and it will not allow you to open up the door. So we don't have everything we need to give you, like the pricing, but we'll get into what we do have with our vital stats. The RX 350 will arrive at dealerships sometime in November and we expect the pricing to be announced closer to the on-sale date. Lexus has provided estimated fuel economy. It's 9.8 liters per 100 kilometers combined. That works out to 24 miles per gallon combined. The current RX model with the V6 engine gets a combined 10.8 liters per 100 kilometers, 22 miles per gallon. So we see an improvement on the new model, which of course is not surprising as it has a smaller engine. Premium fuel is recommended. This latest RX can tow 2,000 pounds, and Lexus offers a warranty of four years, 80,000 kilometers, or 50,000 miles. All right, let's see what else you can buy in the premium space. For your consideration, four vehicles for you to consider. Up first is the BMW X5 with a turbocharged 3-liter inline 6 and a 48-volt mild hybrid system, 335 horsepower, and a starting price just over $79,000. The Mercedes-Benz GLE 350 with a 2-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder, 255 horsepower, and a starting price of $73,500. The Genesis GV80 with a 2.5-liter turbocharged 4-cylinder, 300 horsepower, and a starting price at $71,500. Here's our used car alternative from CanadaDrives.ca. We chose a 2019 Lincoln Nautilus with just over 35,000 kilometers on the clock for $48,590. Click on the tab or the link in the description below to find more vehicles in this category from CanadaDrives.ca. So there are four luxury SUVs for you to consider. Lightning round. Two things we like, two things we like to see improved. I love how quiet this RX is. 
I like the look of it. I'd like to know what the pricing is and how competitive it is with the competition. And we don't have any information on it, but it looks like they're going to have a three-row version of something from Lexus to compete with the rest of the competition. Lexus did such a great job with this RX. This is one I'm going to be recommending. This is their best-selling vehicle, and they claim it's the best-seller in this category. It's going to be one to watch. This video is brought to you by Canada Drives. Shop online for your next used vehicle and enjoy the convenience of to-your-door delivery and the confidence of a seven-day love-it-or-return-it guarantee. Visit canadadrives.ca to learn more.